Okay, here we're going to talk about the flow volume loops for obstructive lung disease and restrictive lung disease. So just to explain what's going on in this curve over here, so on the x-axis, we're going to have volume of air in liters. And on the y-axis, we're going to have flow of air in liters per second. What's going on on top of the curve is expiration, and on the bottom of the curve is inspiration. Okay, so let's begin. So let's take a look at some important values. So let's take the normal case, and let's say a person tries to breathe in and breathe out. So they breathe in. So they breathed in their full capacity. This is known as the total lung capacity over here, how much their lung is capable of containing. Total lung capacity. And then they breathe out. We see that there's still a little bit of air left in their lung over here. This amount of air over here that's still left in their lung after they fully expire is known as the residual volume. So if you take a look over here, this guy's gonna represent obstructive lung disease. Obstructive lung disease includes things like emphysema and chronic bronchitis, often associated with smoking, and thus we have this guy over here who's smoking. And what we note is that the entire curve shifts to the left, and that's because there is an increase in residual volume due to the air trapping, and there's also an increase in total lung capacity. The total lung capacity goes from normal, which is at 6, to larger than 8 liters. We also note the characteristic kink over here, and that's due to the obstruction during inspiration. Over here we note restrictive lung disease. This includes lots of things, including things like pneumoconiosis, borreliosis, silicosis, associated with lots of workers. People who work in the manufacturing business with mining. And thus we have this worker over here to remind us of that. And here the curve shifts to the right. Due to the restriction, for example due to fibrosis and loss of compliance, everything is reduced. Residual volume is reduced, total lung capacity is reduced, every value is reduced. And that's why the curve shifts to the right. Okay, so I hope this video made things memorable and fun. I hope you enjoyed. Alrighty, take care.